I've been on this sort of self-improvement journey for two years now. Talking on this very platform that you're watching about my experiences, my mistakes, the things that I've learned. So others who are on this journey can avoid those very same mistakes I made. And there is one major thing that I've learned on my journey. I've learned that the majority of people on self-improvement genuinely have no idea what it really is, including myself. Improving feels good. When you improve in anything, it feels good. Any sort of progress you're making feels just as great as the final result. When you're going to the gym and your strength starts to finally increase, when you're meditating every day and you actually start to improve your mental health. When you're trying to get good at a certain hobby, maybe it's piano, tennis, skating, I don't know what it is, but progress genuinely feels good when you improve. Any hobby it is that you're trying to improve and it feels great to make progress. There is one thing that I've come to realize though, that there is a sort of culture online, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Reddit, on all these social media platforms, that treats self-improvement as its own hobby. Something that's completely detached from any certain goal that you have. As if it's the cure to a crappy life. Anything that you're dealing with right now. Oh no, your girlfriend left you. Hey, there's a book on self-improvement, here you go. Oh no, a family member's just passed away. Ah, watch a self-improvement video. Ah, you've just had an argument with family and you feel more distant than ever. Go listen to a self-improvement podcast. We end up becoming a part of this culture that puts self-improvement as if it's its own hobby on a pedestal. As if it's the pill that you could take that would cure every single problem to your shitty life. This mindset will hurt you. And this mindset on self-improvement, this culture will ultimately ruin your life. Now, first things first, don't don't get me wrong, like, I, I've been on self-improvement for well, this self-improvement journey for two years now, you know, aiming to improve yourself, it's a very noble thing. Just aiming to simply be 1% better every single day. I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen on you trying to improve yourself? You're not gonna get worse. Aiming to improve in anything is a good, noble action. It's a noble motive. You're not going to go backwards, certainly. But that's not what I think is destructive. What I actually think is destructive is the mindset that the majority have. What I think is destructive is that the mindset is, oh, well, self-improvement is a pill. It's a pill that will cure every single bad thing in our life. You're depressed, get onto self-improvement, and you will feel 100 times better instantly. That it's a pill that will cure everything. It won't. That's not realistic. That's what I think is destructive about self-improvement, is that there is more people on it now. It's great and it's amazing and I love the fact that more people are on it, but more people are adapting to this sort of mindset that it's the cure everything pill, which is inaccurate and also highly unrealistic. And when you don't see a result straight away, it will end up hurting your mind way more. In reality, in the truth, when I go about my whole day, when I wake up to when I fall asleep, I don't ever think, oh, I'm on self-improvement. Ah, <laughs> I'm doing better. I never ever think that I'm on this self-improvement journey. In reality, when I go throughout my whole day. In reality, what I actually think, when I wake up, I'm gonna meditate. I sit outside with my cup of black coffee and I meditate. Then I go gratitude channel. Then I eat some food, get some protein into my system, make my proteins movies. Then I go to gym, come back, and then I'll start recording, editing, whatever it is I'm doing. Then I'll either go to work or I'll go skate. I don't ever think, oh, I'm going to start my hobby self-improvement. I just think, I'm going to go meditate. I'm going to go gym. I'm going to go do these separate hobbies. Yes, all of this is considered a part of self-improvement, but I believe in focusing on the actual hobbies as themselves. Not that self-improvement is a hobby that can cure everything, because it won't. You know, there are so many people out there Hopefully you're not one of them, but there are so many people out there who will be on this self-improvement journey, aiming, reading all these self-improvement books, watching all these self-improvement YouTube videos, which could be you, you know, you're reading, you're watching, you're listening to podcasts inside every day. 
and then you never actually go outside and practice what you learn. When you listen to a Hamza video about how to become less socially anxious and he tells you to go outside and talk to more people and then you don't do it, it's kind of counterproductive, you know. But it kind of makes sense to actually get better at being social, you need to socialize. But by you reading, reading and reading and not socializing, it's actually not working for you. You see, I would rather go outside swinging with a dull sword than to stay inside constantly sharpening my sword, but never use it. Self-improvement is great. Ever since I ever started on the journey, my life has only ever been improving. Like I said earlier in the video, aiming to improve in something about yourself, there is nothing wrong with that. That is amazing. That is a great thing to do. What's the worst that can happen? You can't go backwards. But a lot of people don't actually practice what they learn. They believe that self-improvement is a hobby that should be put on a pedestal that will cure all your problems. In reality, it won't. What you need to do is just focus on improving on that certain hobby or certain part of your life. I don't go through my day thinking, I'm on self-improvement, everything's going to be better. I wake up and I think, I'm going to meditate, it's time to meditate now. Oh, you know what? Okay, time to go eat some food. Some proper quality food that I'm going to cook for myself. And then I'm going to go gym. And then I'm going to skate. I focus on the habits. Because in reality, that's what's going to make you feel better. Self-improvement isn't a hobby. And getting this idea that this culture, that self-improvement will cure everything, it's not going to. It's the actual habits that's going to help you. So, if you've been on self-improvement, and you've not been seeing any instant results, this is why. And don't give up just because you haven't seen any instant results. Just keep aiming to improve yourself. What's the worst that could happen? You get better. Seems pretty good to me. Hopefully this helped you out. And I hope things will be good. I hope you've been alright. And I would be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop in the corner here. Because this video could also help you out as well. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. Voila. <laughs> Come here. Something pretty good.